back now in Las Vegas with more of our interview with Hillary Clinton. Last week, we went home to Brooklyn with Clinton's opponent, Bernie Sanders, to talk about what formed his character. Well, today, we asked Secretary Clinton about the remarkable life of her mother, Dorothy Rodham, who ran away from an abusive home at the age of 14 and made her own way through the Great Depression. Mrs. Rodham died in 2011 at the age of 92. How much of what we're hearing is your mother? Well, Which words are her words? Well, a lot of it is. You know, um, I wish she were still here. She was in 08. She gave me so much support. And she was also a great, you know, mirror. Tell me about a moment, if you would, with your mother as a little girl mm. that was formative for you. You know, I was pretty shy. I was a kind of reserved little girl. And really? I would, yes, I would go outside to play. And literally, I would get knocked down and pushed around by all the little kids. And so the kids knocked me down, pushed me around. I ran back in crying, and my mother met me at the door. And she said, there is no room for cowards in this house. You go right back out there and stand up for yourself. So I came back out, and I said, I, 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 I'm not going to run inside the house. I'm here. I want to play. And literally, they formed a circle. And this one girl who had been so mean to me came over, and she pushed me. And then I just pushed her right back. And she was so surprised. And they all just looked at me. And they said, OK. And so I played that day and every day after that. But if my mother had not met me and had not given me that tough love that I think every kid needs at some point in his or her life, my life might have been very different. No room for cowards. There's no room for cowards in this house.